millions of years ago Homo erectus would have walked the planet in. This species first appeared around 2 million years ago and it's likely they encountered the giant megalodon. If it's one thing that researchers told us it's that our ancestors liked to travel. Megalodon also had a wide habit range. We know this from the various places where its fossils have been discovered. Some of the places include North and South America, Australia, England, New Zealand, Chile, Africa and many places in Europe. Researchers have said that when our ancestors wanted to pass through large bodies of water, there was a high chance they could have encountered these giant predators. Even in shallower waters they would have been present. Scientists who have studied the megalodon have said the adults would have given birth in shallower waters, or in mangrove-like environments. This would ensure the safety of their young, as even though the adults grew to enormous sizes the baby megalodon would have been preyed upon by larger marine lizards at the time. This is similar to how lemon sharks have their young in mangroves. Some researchers have said the homo species could have come into contact with these giants when looking for food. Millions of years ago we started to venture into the water, and this is how we got bipedalism. Some species of monkeys show this trait while crossing shallower rivers. It allows them to keep their heads above the water and also look out for predators. Our brains greatly expanded at one point, and it's thought this was promoted by a protein-rich fish diet. We have a hooded nose that helps prevent water from entering the nostrils. These are all things that happened due to us entering the water, so there would have been a slight chance that some of our ancestors had a run in with this giant prehistoric shark. Most of the marine creatures that lived alongside the megalodon would have wanted to keep their distance. This giant shark could easily grow up to 60 feet long, and had a bite more powerful than that of a Tyrannosaurus rex. It's safe to say that our ancestors would have probably wanted to stay close to the shores. The size of the megalodon made it an incredible predator that helped it dominate the oceans during its reign. In order to support its massive body weight and muscle growth, the body of the megalodon had a tremendous metabolism that only caused the creature to require massive amounts of food and resources constantly available in its environment. This calorie requirements would have forced the megalodon to eat more than 2,500 pounds of meat a day just to survive. So my question to you guys is do you think our ancient ancestors would have encountered the megalodon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.